Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. We are here on GM Rocky Islands and we are going to look at LFS Greenwich stuff. Yeah, so Greenwich uh, has made some LFS planes. We looked at LFS before, which is a plane add on. Uh, and to make Greenwich stuff uh, work, you need. LFS base and also the material it's listed on his uh, workshop page which is linked in the description This is the Luftwaffe World War II Luftwaffe pack which uh, yeah, as you might guess includes German World War II aircraft and such um, Also, we have refill bombs <laughs> If you somehow oh god uh, yeah, so if you somehow uh, waste your bombs, there are replacement bombs. And the effects for these are pretty cool. So that's nice. And now... God. The, <laughs> the ground is scorched. Oh well, we just have to live with it. In any case... Um, we are not going to look too much at the bombs. We're going to look straight at the planes. But I kind of want to look at this V1 rocket though. Oh fuck. Huh. Okay, let's launch it a little bit closer there. Is this too close? Oh fuck. And that's dangerous. <laughs> Expectable. In any case, there are some cool rockets too, so that's nice. But uh, we're going to go to the. Oh, that's. Oh, it's one of these. Oh god. Yeah. Cool rockets. So, we're going to begin with the FV-190A1. There are a lot of planes, and not only that... This scorched earth bothers me. <clears throat> not only that, uh, they also have loadouts, and all cockpits are animated and stuff, so it's kind of a nice pack. Alright. Here we have LFS settings, by the way, but that's, that's regular LFS. So, if you right-click on it and select body groups, you can change the loadout of it. All right. Wing stuff. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Gun port. I think I'm unable to change this. Interesting. Uh, in anyhow, we can. Uh, oh, well, uh, let's go to the LFS settings and see if there is something we can change about this. Options. Maybe just. Never mind. There we have Greenwich stuff. Bombs. Oh yeah, here we have some cool Greenwich uh, <laughs> uh, stuff we definitely didn't uh, check out. Uh, so we can enable radio sounds, enable bombs. There are a lot of stuff we can turn on off. Should jets be very fast? And should aircraft crash underwater? Uh, should aircrafts crash, so if you uh, want to have kind of easy mood, <laughs> you can do that. Alright, so there are a lot of, lot of settings you can use there. So we have bombs. Should bombs be sound? Shake, okay, easily armed. Okay, nice. Bullets. Bullet damage multiplier. Okay, you can change the damage and stuff like that. And we can use an alternate muscle flash too. And over add VAC base if you use VAC too. Because Greenwich made some VAC stuff earlier. Uh, yeah, in any case, there are a lot of skins we can use. So we can have a lot of different kind of... Uh... <laughs> now it looks like a Japanese plane. Yeah, so we have a lot of skins for this plane, which is pretty cool. I like this red one. Um, and 
they work like uh, LFS does uh, generally. Not entirely sure why we can't change there, but in any case, we'll just jump into it. And you see here, it looks pretty cool. If we click control, you can change to outside view. W to uh, take off. You can also use shift to go up a little faster. We have two types of machine guns. Oh god. We didn't have enough velocity to actually damage ourselves that much. But I have, I have a bad... Oh god, yes. We got out in time, that's for sure. Uh, by the way, you can spawn um, enemy planes too. Uh, we have a lot of different versions of the different kind of planes. This is FV109, A1, A4, A5, A5 slash U12. Yeah, I don't know the differences of these uh, like that, but uh, let's see here. Can select the skin at least there. How nice. I suppose it has different kind of... Oh yeah, this has the rockets. Uh, in any case, if you want to battle an enemy there, you can spawn them by... Uh, let's see here, if we just select one, we select this... Oh god, that's too big. Or it's a challenge. We now have a challenge, great. Um, and you right click on it and then you go to edit properties and you can go to AI, check the AI button and you now have an enemy plane. We better get in here before we're scraps. Oh lords. By the way, if you use shift, you kind of go upwards too, so that's useful. And if you if you hold alt, you can have a free look, so you don't uh, steer the craft when holding alt. Just kind of stabilize it itself a little bit and try to resume flight forward. But of course, it's harder to see. So let's see if we can check this one out. We wasted our rockets though, so that's kind of sad. Oh lords! Got him! Oh no. Good landing though. <laughs> we didn't die. Uh, so, crash landing in the water is a little bit safer. Alright. Let's spawn that one. We're just going to... Select a nice skin and uh, make it AI. Because we have the FV109, a lot of different versions. Like this one has a bomb, which made me show off the bomb pretty quickly. Uh, so, uh, in this moment, I understand that uh, while I'm recording this, the AI can't actually use bombs. Let us drop this bomb here. Oh lords. <laughs> Did you see the tail of our plane? It was kind of dead. We destroyed the tail of our plane, so yeah, that's cool. This island is so scorched now. Uh, but yeah, the planes are very nicely damageable, so that's cool. Here we have the GU... GU... 87R2. I see if I can check for you. Uh, check in the description if I found out uh, why I can't edit bo uh, body groups. Let's see here. Let's... In any case. Oh no. 
Yes. Oh no. Aha. Maybe it doesn't think us as an enemy. That's sad. In any case, uh, let's get into this plane here. I'm just uh, wanna check out if we have some. Nah, let's just get in there and see how the Jua Gu is faring. And the Gu Gu eight seven R two. Apparently, some of them models has the uh, famous or infamous siren that is supposed to sound. I think this is maybe a friendly aircraft, actually. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. But space. Oh, this doesn't ha pass uh, that thing. Anyways, usually in space you can take up your landing gear. Uh, this has the siren. So um, let us do a World War Two dive bombing. Oh no. Oh god. I think we messed up one of our... <laughs> yeah. We messed up something. But basically some of the World War II planes had a siren, which is basically a little uh, of the German place, planes. They have this little propeller uh, on the plane that when you picked up speed for a dive bombing it would sound an ominous sound and... Uh, uh, when the targets heard that sound, they were either very scared or very thankful. <laughs> uh, scared because there's a bomb plane coming. Uh, thankful because they could hear exactly from where the bomb plane was coming. So, you know, it had... Uh, uh, it uh, was supposed to be scary, but it also kind of gave itself away, you know, some targets could then get away. In any case, um, let's just get into this one. By the way, we need to uh, let's spawn another little plane here. We're just gonna spawn it like this. AI Team Zero. I think that's enemy team, maybe. Oh yeah. This has a bomb. Very cool gun though. Very heavy. Maybe it actually changes guns, I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, that I'm too slow. Oh fuck. Okay, that's an enemy. Good to know. It just died, I think. <laughs> I like this plane. The white color makes it look kind of old, but at the same time cool. Ooh, nice uh, rock raining sounds. Not that I, we could hear it from an airplane. Oh god. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> In any case, I'm kind of curious uh, to see if the... Uh, LFS uh, vehicle spammer. Okay. I'm going to spawn a vehicle spam right here. This is going to be my enemy airbase. Okay. Added properties. Type. Oh, yeah, they're there. Let's have them spawn uh, FV uh, force. Amount two.
that's dangerous. Uh, now I want to try out the, uh, let's see here, where is it? The bomber. The GU BB-8A. We're just gonna do a little lineup of all the planes though. I think this one has a gunner. I think it was this one that had a gunner. No, come on. Maybe they're not enemies. Come on. That's disappointing. Come on. Just for show. Oh god. Like, damn it. This seems to be. Okay, now it's like, kind of sturdy. Yeah, so we should definitely uh, check this thing. Auto team. Team override. Okay, like that. Up. Ah, perfect. Whoops. Good. Now this should be an enemy aircraft, right? Maybe. Properties. Team Zero. I'm not entirely sure, I don't remember, but I think I was team one or something. Anyways, let's do a little lineup of the planes here. So here we can see, this is the same base model. And then we have this one, the FV. Okay, D13, D9, D8. So all these look, this one looks different, doesn't it? And it's just, oh yeah, it has different wingtips. Oh no, they're quite different actually. So, uh, we have the B7 series, should we maybe call them? And uh, then we have the, uh, that's the G GU B7, then we have the SFV. And is this the same as this one? Does it have different wingtips? No, it's just loadout probably. Anyways. And then we of course have this one, the bomber, the GU 88. 88. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Put another skin on this one. See what it can do. Money. What's the difference? I don't see the difference in these skins. Oh well. AI team 1. Zero, I mean. Yes. Up, up, and away. Oh god, it has an enemy there. That's for sure. Oh god. They killed them. Alright. Let's launch this one. Oh no. We are launching a few... Uh, 
team. Oh no, they're just killing him off, aren't they? They have our, our sovereignty at this moment, for sure. These were some huge guns, man. Wow. Those were the ones I tried out before, wasn't it? Kinda like them, though. Okay, started engines. You do that on R, by the way. Okay. This is apparently friendly. I think all our <laughs> I have failed again with the settings. Yeah, that's a heavy gun. Now we need to reload. Well, there were some of the crafts before that actually had. Uh, Oh well, that's too sad. Not reloading today, it seems. By the way, you can see here that uh, when trying to aim, we can kind of see when we are actually having a potential hit. So that's cool. In any case, I'm thinking we should, let's see here, if we can spawn another one of these vehicle spammers. Oh, we have them. We can have a vehicle spammer right in there. Oh no. Let's do one of the... Can make it spawn bombers. Team... Oh no, wrong team. Maybe we should select team 2. Team 2. Cool. These are probably the friends now. making spawn three of them. This is gonna cause some potential lag. Or no. Don't tell me all our friends. It seems so. Like this one then. Let's set an auto team. Amount. Spawn with a specific skin. Now they shouldn't be friends. Aha. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I kind of found out the vehicle spawner for some reason uh, doesn't want to work right now for me. Uh, so basically <laughs> we have to set them manually. So everyone is kind of team one, uh, including ourselves. And team zero is uh, the enemy team. 
So we quickly just gonna go in here, set them as AI, wait until they're, oh yeah, he's up, change to team one, team zero, I mean. Oh god, and they're pretty damn quick, oh man. They're not happy about seeing team zero people here, so it's like full air, I mean, there are so many, so many warplanes in the air, I'm surprised that uh, my FPS almost as reaches 60 not really but almost okay it lifted okay we can we can wait one sec okay now team one zero oh no if we're quick enough Alright. These guys are not letting him take off, are they? Oh man. Not fun to be a team <laughs> team zero play now. They are brutal. Okay. Let's uh, let's throw away a few fighters then. Ooh, and they kind of spawn with random skins too, that's cool. Oh no. That's already wasted, oops. I think this leopard colored Jew B7R is my favorite. Let's give it a little, little help on the way. Oh god. Oh no, he's crashing. Oh lord, oh wow. He got up in the air though, that's impressive. Edit properties on zero. Yep, give him some speed. Up and away. There we heard the siren a little bit. I have no idea who's who. This is why we would have liked to have the vehicle spawner. Because then it would have made sense. Okay. Anyway. They can actually uh, launch with a pretty short amount of uh, airstrip, so let's just let's just speed launch a few of them. Edit properties. Remind that this menu that comes up first is not the menu you want. Oh no, wrong. There we go. Properties, launch. You want to select a new menu to get them up there. That's right. Add properties, launch like that. Ooh, the battle is full on. Wow, this red plane is really good. Oh, it's coming after. Oh, he got him. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The <clears throat> that team is actually the uh, enemy team. It's the zero team. But uh, because there are so many of our team, it's kind of... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Here I have some red planes. Let's do like this. Oh. Okay, they spawn with random, that's sad. Of course they do. But it's confusing. Oh! We don't have so many planes in the air anymore. 
So what we're going to do, we're just gonna launch a few planes here. No, not that one. That's the one I wanna use. We're all gonna make them Team Zero. And then quickly after, we're gonna take off in our own plane, and hopefully we survive. Okay. Now, a few of them should survive, shouldn't they? There we go. Now we can get into our own plane. And we can see, it's our enemy. And uh, we have to make friends with the, <laughs> with the plane that's still left. Now, we have a lot of enemies in the air. That's our friend, though. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god. I think we're not getting out of here alive. This is when we right click on it and set AI. Now I never remember which one is the, which one has cool guns and stuff, but uh, this doesn't have a... It doesn't have a bomb, which means it has another machine gun. So that's nice. I like the maneuverability. Here. Oh lords. We can alt to have a little free look. Oh yeah. He's down already. But uh, I think our blue red friend, I mean, which is on our team, cleaned up pretty well. Because there are no more enemies here. Ah. I'll see if I. Oh no. I crash in the water all the time. Somehow I didn't die. That's good. You can roll also. That's cool. If you hold A or D. You can do it while inside, but then it looks so weird, because the camera doesn't follow. Alright. Now that we don't have any enemies in the air, or any friends in the air that takes down the enemies, we can uh, spawn up a little arsenal of bomb planes, and well, Hopefully they will be able to use the bomb soon. Uh, AI Team Zero. Because we are going to just have one little more battle before we close off this video. Okay, now we got them. Now we got them in the air. Now we should hunt bombers with this very heavy plane with these heavy guns. You have to aim forward. Oh! That's cute. Oh! This gun has... Cool! So if you click one or two, you can actually... Oh god, we better move. <laughs> you can actually go to a little extra gunner seat, which this plane has. So that's cool. slow down a little bit. 
Oh no. I died. He didn't die though, that's cool. I had no more ammo, so yeah. Alright. This uh, FV does have better maneuverability. That's something you have to give it. seems the skies are actually clear. They might have uh, killed themselves off a little bit too efficiently. Oh god. Oh no. Ah. Oh well. I kind of failed getting back into stuck in free life. Really. There we go. In any case, uh, this uh, Luftwaffe God, mod is pretty cool. I like it. It's nice. Um, it would be nice if the auto enemy spawner worked a little bit better, but other than that, it's a pretty damn nice little uh, add on. So, well. That's that. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Jim Total Nerdy Channel taking a look at the, uh, at the LFS Greenwich World War II Luftwaffe pack. And hopefully we will get uh, to see packs from, uh, from the other factions too. And then it sets up a, a great opportunity for some really nice World War II dogfights in Gary's mod. In any case, see you around. This is Jim Total Nourish Channel, signing out.